So we are going to make a website with a menu that is fully functional with only the CSS. I'm using inputs here, uh, three to be exact, and uh, it has the type radio, which is this little bubble here. And the trick is that I'm now, I'm now selecting all of them, but if you put a name attribute and you share the same value with every input in the same category, it will only allow one to be selected at the time. So we will use it for the menu. And I'm also putting IDs here because we need that to display the proper content of the website here. So just, just uh, unique IDs. And now we're going to use the label because nice trick about label. If you use a for attribute on label and the value is same as the input, input's ID, it will basically make the content of the label clickable and it will change the value of the input. So I will use it for the menu content and whenever I click on the content of the label it will point and change the, change the state of the input. So you can see that I'm clicking on the contents of the label and manipulating the inputs. And now I'm going to make some uh, like sections. Yeah, let's see sections. It can be anything, but I like sections because uh, it validates in HTML5 for the uh, content of the blocks, whatever. And these will have corresponding IDs, uh, also unique. So we will use the label to change the state of the input to display the right section with its content for us. And for that we'll use CSS3 uh, selector with tile, tiled, or tilt, however you say it in English. So this is just some random content. We will have a home, about and contact page. And now all the magic. So let's make a style, uh, style element. And uh, we are going to hide the inputs and sections by default. So we just have the labels displayed, all right? And now we say that the label have some padding just to just so it looks more uh, you know spacious. And now we're going to say that if I have the input, the first okay we do we need to specify it for every input. So let's say that I have uh, input a one, and if it's checked, which is uh, attribute of CSS, which we can we can also control. If it's checked, then I will select the element in the same parent. Element that is a child of the same parent. So we will use the tile tilt, uh, tilt character. And we are saying that input that is checked uh, and it's followed by this ID section will be displayed block. So it only works for checked input. So we now we have now linked the inputs to sections basically and displayed only the one that is checked and because we had the name on them on the inputs only one can be ready and I manually added the checked attribute in the HTML so it's uh, it's opened by default it's home and uh, I will just put some more styles so it's actually centered and a bit more nice and cleaner in the middle of the page with some uh, I don't know ping border or something. Yeah, and that's about it. Uh, what can we do next is we could probably uh, style some hover so it looks like uh, website links more, like uh, like proper menu with JavaScript bloat. So let's say that hover on, on labels will uh, change the cursor to the pointer, which is the hand, and the color to, I don't know, red or whatever. So yeah, so now it looks, now it should hopefully look like a menu, yeah, and also we can say some, uh, this transition could be ease with, I don't know, three 300 milliseconds, so it, it's smoother for a mouse over effect. Yeah, that's about it. And we can also set the current checked state, so we know where uh, what page we are on, and we can do it, how should we, yeah, we can set that for the checked input, corresponding label should have the same uh, property as the hover label. So we need to write manually. So a1 checked tilt label 
and we will use the attribute for we can search it by its attribute so we can say label square brackets for equals the ID we can set it to, to our uh, corresponding hover state so now if we reload the page and you click on anything on the menu it will stay as it is because it's checked hidden checked uh, input yeah and that's about it guys